Hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of MCM Motor City Mania. I'm your host, David T. Pike. And with that, let's get into the content. So, hopefully everyone's doing a great day today. Everyone's having a good time. Don't want to get too much into this. We're just going to, you know, change things up a little bit. I put a poll out yesterday to try and figure out maybe if it was worthwhile to keep the intro video or not. Most people thought I should either shorten it or get rid of it altogether. So I'm trying something new here a little bit. But having explained all that, let's get into the content here. So, here's the thing, folks. I know that yesterday, for a lot of people, the whole, I wouldn't call it anything more than a surprise, really, that the Lions really didn't do a whole lot, is got them definitely, you know, feeling within themselves, like, what the hell is going on? Why are we not doing a whole lot? And that's definitely something I'm going to talk about in some of the videos that I'm going to release today. But I figured that I would also talk about something that for some people, they're not necessarily talking about because their minds are a little bit distracted elsewhere. They're a little bit more preoccupied with other matters at the moment. And what am I, what am I specifically referring to? What I'm specifically referring to is the two contracts yesterday that got signed by quarterbacks of prominent noteworthiness and how that relates to quarterback Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions negotiations to get him into a new contract, to extend him. Now, who am I specifically referring to? Well, obviously, if you paid attention to yesterday's news cycles, you would know that two prominent quarterbacks got new contract deals by two different ball clubs. The, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers handed out a new contract to quarterback Baker Mayfield, which in essence was a three-year, $100 million contract with, with about $40 million guaranteed. So it's like, okay, there's that contract. The other contract that is much more prominent, that definitely got a lot of people's eyebrows popping, that was definitely a big contract, was the Atlanta Falcons signing Kirk Cousins to a four-year, $180 million contract with $100 million of that guaranteed. So right there, you've got two different types of contracts for two, in essence, I would say, say different caliber types of quarterbacks. With Baker Mayfield, you've got a mid-range quarterback that can sometimes play a little bit better than what some people are expecting out of him. Whereas with Kirk, with, what I'm talking about with Kirk Cousins, you're talking about a guy who statistically is a top 10 quarterback and has the ability to win for you. The question with Captain Kirk, obviously, is the ability for him to win in primetime games and for the ability to win in the playoffs. Now, what does this have to do with Jared Goff? What the hell does this have to do when we're talking about, you know, the Lions' ability to extend Jared Goff, the contract negotiations that are, you know, in that are related to this whole conversation that I'm having? Well, let's understand this. When you're talking about the quarterback market, when you're talking about a deal with a quarterback, particularly a starting quarterback, we already know, as all NFL fans do, that the quarterback market is specifically set or gauged based upon how a quarterback in another area of the NFL is getting a deal. What specifically they're getting in their deal. And then it's like, okay, based upon what they got, that is then going to influence greatly in typical thought process, why another quarterback should or should not get a certain amount of money. Now, let's think about this here. Jared Goff, is he better than both Kirk Cousins and Baker Mayfield? Well, I'm just going to put this very bluntly. Kirk Cousins has a very poor primetime record. He also has a very poor playoff record. Baker Mayfield, on the other hand, has a little bit better, but I would be willing to bet that most people, if you gave them a choice between who they would like to have as their starting quarterback, Jared Goff or Baker Mayfield, they would take Jared Goff almost 99 times out of 100. So it's like, okay, universally, it would be pretty much agreed that Jared Goff is the better quarterback between both Kirk Cousins and Baker Mayfield. But yet, both of those guys yesterday in the first day of the tamping, tampering period for the NFL 2024, you know, free agency period, both of them got pretty substantial contracts. Because you have to think about this truly, about how much money both of these guys got. If you think about it, for Baker Mayfield's three-year, $100 million deal, he's pretty much getting paid about $33 million a year on average. And then if you take a look at Kirk Cousins, he's getting paid about $45 million a year. 
Well, as I just stated, Jared Goff is better than both of them. Jared Goff is not only better than both of them in terms of statistical production, but also take a look at the fact that in recent terms of what he's been able to do with the Detroit Lions, he is a hell of a lot better, night and day better, to, in comparison to both Kirk Cousins and to freaking Baker Mayfield. I mean, for crying out loud, he won two playoff games with the Detroit Lions and got the Lions to an NFC Conference Championship game. Neither Baker Mayfield nor Kirk Cousins has even come close to a conference championship game. So it's like, okay, that right there already puts Jared Goff in a completely different conversation. And plus on top of that, that's Jared Goff's second conference championship game. Kirk Cousins and Baker Mayfield haven't even gotten to one. So it's like, okay, just based upon accomplishments during their career and also based upon the fact of what they've done recently, Jared Goff is head and shoulders ahead of both of them. So it's like, okay, when you take a look at how contracts are made nowadays, it's based upon the recency bias a little bit as well. So it's like, okay, Jared Goff, ranked number 66 in terms of the NFL's top 100 players last year, going to be most likely on it this year. You're talking about a guy who had 30 touchdowns, which ranked fourth in the NFL last year. You're talking about a guy who ranked second in terms of passing yards this last year in the NFL. So, okay, not only is the statistical production there, not only are the achievements there as far as winning playoff games, getting to the conference championship game, but you're also talking about a team in the Detroit Lions with Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell that have expressed that Jared Goff is their guy and they want to keep him. When you keep all of this in, in tandem and you start really thinking about it, again, it should not surprise anybody that the Detroit Lions, if they're, well, if in my opinion is an operative word depending upon who you're talking to, but in my honest opinion, I'm going to say when, when the Detroit Lions make an announcement that they're going to sign Jared Goff, which again, I don't know when that's going to happen, but I would be willing to bet it's probably going to happen sometime this offseason. When that news comes out, it would not at all surprise me that the Lions are going to make a massive investment in Jared Goff. Because again, we have to understand first and foremost, like I said about the, the about the other contracts that I'm talking about with Baker Mayfield and with Kirk Cousins, but you also have to understand how Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell do their business primarily. Again, like I said, the other quarterbacks that are getting deals, they're going to influence what a new quarterback is going to get with their team, such as, and when I mean a new quarterback, I'm talking about a new quarterback deal. So with Jared Goff, it's like, okay, we know he's up for an extension here pretty soon. We know the Lions are in talks to negotiate with him to, you know, to get that contract extension made. Well, here's the thing. If Kirk Cousins got $45 million on average a year over 100, with $180 million total dollars with $100 million guaranteed, that right there is pretty much your starting point if you realistically want to have this conversation. Because it's like, okay, Jared Goff has done substantially more than Kirk Cousins had, well, that Kirk Cousins has done since he was in Minnesota and this last year. So to me, it's like, okay... You're talking about, at a bare minimum, Jared Goff getting $45 million a year, which is something that I've been talking about for quite a while. And again, it would not at all surprise me if Jared Goff actually gets closer to about $50 million a year. Because it's like, listen, you take a look and you put Jared Goff in comparison to most other quarterbacks in the NFL, Jared Goff's a top 10 quarterback, not only in terms of statistical production, but also in what he means to the Detroit Lions. And I would be willing to bet this, if Jared Goff is out on the free agent market right now, he would have no shortage of shoot, no shortage of suitors. So it's like, to me, it's like, okay, Understanding all that and putting all that together, again, like I said in the previous episode, I'll put the link to that back up at the top, Jared Goff is probably going to get a $200 million contract or somewhere around that mark because it's like, listen, if Kirk Cousins can get $180 million, there's no reason in my mind to doubt that Jared Goff is going to get $200 million. And there's no reason in my mind to doubt that Jared Goff's average is going to be a little bit higher considering what he's been able to do for the Detroit Lions and considering what he's been able to do with them over the last two to three years. So it's like, okay here. This to me makes a lot of sense. And I understand in comparison to go back to, like I said at the very beginning, a lot of people aren't necessarily thinking about this right now because they want to see what the Lions are going to do in free agency as far as who they're going to bring in. But you have to understand something here. The way free agency works, it's like, listen, not only do you have to pay attention to what your team is doing, but you also have to pay attention to what the team is not doing and what other teams are doing. And to me, it's like, okay, it's a very interesting concept when both Baker Mayfield and Kirk Cousins get the contracts they do, and we know that Jared Goff is due to get a contract from the Detroit Lions here pretty shortly, because it's like, I know that that's going to have some bearings on how those negotiations go. So now it's just like, 
I want to see what happens. I want to see what the what the reaction, what the result is going to be from those new contracts getting handed out in result to Jared Goff getting his contract extension because that is one of those contracts that a lot of Lions fans are wondering about in terms of an extension for, you know, on the Lions team, along with Amon Ross St. Brown, Panay Sewell, and eventually Aiden Hutchinson. So it's like, these are all questions that Lions fans definitely have, but they're a little bit more pre-focused elsewhere. But anyway, I just figured I'd talk about this really quickly. Didn't think that a lot of people would be thinking about it right now, but I figured, hey, you know what? It's an interesting topic all the same. But having said that, I think I'll end the video here, and I'm just going to say thank you all for watching in another episode of MCM Motor City Mania. If you like what you saw, by all means, highly encourage you all to watch the next episode. Also encourage you all to do one of these three things, like, comment, and subscribe. If by chance you subscribed in the past and you forgot to do so at the time, or you just subscribed and you not had a chance to do so, again, please highly encourage you all to subscribe. It really helps out my channel. But I also encourage you all, please, to make sure you turn on that bell notification icon at the bottom so that way you never miss any more content that I push out. Again, subscription numbers always going up, but we want to make sure you turn on that notification icon so that way as soon as I push something out, you guys can come right back in and there's no, you know, like any sort of delay in possible coming back to the channel and having good conversations about the Lions and football in general. Also encourage y'all please to share the content with your Lions friends and family members. Share it here on YouTube, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share it anywhere and everywhere you can with everybody and anybody that you can. The more we share it, the greater the channel spreads, which means the better the channel does. And with that being said to everybody, hope y'all enjoyed the content. Hope y'all are enjoying this new format a little bit, or rather I should say a return to an old format. Hopefully it's something that everybody likes for a little bit and we'll see how it goes from there. But with that, just want to say to everybody, God bless. Hope y'all are having a great day. And until the next time we meet, I'll see y'all in the next episode.